All right, in this video, I'm going to be explaining the Buffer King feature that I showed in my other video and explain what it does and how to activate it. Now, the Buffer King is a Easter egg in Serato DJ and also in Itch as well. That's where the Easter egg first came from. It wasn't in Scratch Live. Uh, but basically what it does is it adjusts the color of the waveform based on the position that you have your EQ knob set to. So basically, if you lower the bass knob on your mixer or controller, it'll take the reds away from the waveform, basically. As you don't know, if you don't know, Serato's waveforms are, you know, uh, broken up into different colors depending on the frequency. The reds are the lower ends, the greens are the middle, and the high, the blues are the highs or the trebles. So, uh, the Buffer King is a Easter egg that you must activate, and it is stupidly difficult trying to get activated. Uh, this is very tricky to do. Uh, it'll probably take you lots of times to finally get it down, uh, but once you do finally get it down, Pat, uh, it's not too hard to do, it's just kind of tedious at that point, but I'm going to explain how to activate it. Basically what you need to do is hold down your shift, control, and alt key on your keyboard, and what you're going to need to do is type out the word king, however you must click it in Morse code on your mouse or your trackpad. Now, uh, K-I-N-G is what we're going to have to spell out in Morse code. Now K is going to be dash dot dash, I is going to be dot dot, N is going to be dash dot, and G is going to be dash, dash, dot. Now, uh, a dash is going to be a click and a press for a moment on the trackpad or your mouse button. Uh, dot is just going to be a fast click like that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, try and get this activated. So, um, when you start off, when you load your track, hold on your shift, control, and alt key, and then we're going to start with K. So that's going to be dash, dot, dash. Dash, dot, oh, and see, I already messed up at the bottom. If you mess up, you'll say, oh, not quite. Tap the king. And I'd wait a few seconds before we try doing it again. Otherwise, it keeps saying that message, and you'll get frustrated that you won't be able to activate it. So let's try it again. Shift, Control, Alt, dash, dot, dash. Oh, see? Not again. Like I said, this is why it's stupidly difficult to try and get activated. So let's try it a third time. Maybe that's a charm. Dash, dot, dash. All right, then you'll see you're almost the K. Now we got to move on to the I. So that's going to be dot, dot. So uh, in between each letter, two, I would... Let go of shift control alt to the one and then press it down again when you go to the next letter. So I is going to be dot dot. Alright, so you'll see you are almost the KI. Alright, so we gotta move on to N now. That's gonna be dash dot. So again, shift control alt dash dot. Alright, you'll see you're almost the KIN. And then finally we're gonna go to G, which is gonna be dash dash dot. So shift control alt dash dash dot. And there you go. You are the buffer king. Control alt shift plus click waveform to disable. Alright, now that we have it activated, let's play a track in Serato DJ and take a look at the mixer and see what it does when you turn the knobs. Now basically, when you turn your EQ knobs, it'll basically take away colors from the waveform or add it to it, depending on which way you turn the knob. Now, Serato's waveforms are broken up into frequency color based, so the low ends are the red colors, the greens are the mid, and the blues are the highs. So, if we kill the bass, or the low end, basically takes away all the red from the waveform. Likewise, if we take away the mid, takes away all the green colors, so you're basically just left with a reddish purplish waveform looking color. And if we take away the highs, it takes away all the blues, and you're left with a kind of a greenish, orangish, reddish color. And if you kill them all, uh, basically the range 64 is full kill, so uh, the waveform basically turns a blackish gray color. Or likewise, if you kill all the bands except one, so if you kill the mid and the high, and just turn up the red, or the low end all the way, it's basically all red. If you do the mids, it'll be all green. And if you do highs, it'll basically be all blue. So, that is the Buffer King feature, Easter egg in Serato DJ. Again, this is an itch and well. Uh, kind of forgotten about, though, uh, but it's still there in Serato DJ. And uh, I think it's a pretty cool feature, especially when you start mixing three and four decks. Uh, you know, when you're EQing, uh, you can visually just look at the waveforms and see, you know, how it sounds, basically, depending on the color of the waveform and what it looks like. So you can tell, uh, you know, if you kill the bass on a track, you basically there's no red in it, so you know... Uh, that track has no bass in it. So, a uh, pretty cool feature, and that is the Buffer King and how to activate it in Serato DJ. Uh, go ahead, uh, try activating it. Uh, again, it might take you a couple times at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Uh, again, if you mess up, make sure you release your Shift, Control, and Alt key uh, before starting over. If you just keep holding it down the entire time, it won't activate, and you'll get really frustrated, and you'll want to break your keyboard or throw your controller across the room. Anyway, so that is the Buffer King feature in Serato DJ. Again, it works with all the mixers. 
Uh, the range 64, 900 SRT. I assume it'll work once the 62, 61, uh, 68 come available. Uh, all the controllers are surrounded with DJ as well. However, this probably won't work with the SL boxes once they come supported. Because, uh, you know, the SL boxes don't have a mixer on it. So, it, you know, the program doesn't know uh, where your EQ movements are if you're using some other uh, mixer with the SL box. So, this will only work with controllers and the mixers, basically, in Serato DJ. So, there you go. That is the Buffer King Easter Egg in Serato DJ and how to activate it. And what it does. With audio this time, too. In my last video, I didn't put audio. A lot of people complain, oh, I can't hear anything. Well, I did it on purpose. It was kind of a Halloween trick-or-treat joke type of thing. I guess uh, a lot of people didn't like it, though. So, uh, you have audio now. Uh, I explain what it does and how to activate it.